Hey guys, welcome back. Glenn with Old School Millennial. Today I am back in my wood yard and I'm gonna be doing a test with my steel MS261 CM chainsaw against my Husqvarna 550 Mark II. So I own both of these two chainsaws and I have no ties to steel or Husqvarna. Both of these are great saws. Both of these are professional saws. If you pick one of these saws up and you go to use it, it's gonna run, it's gonna do the job that you're gonna put in front of it. For those of you that have followed along on my channel, I've already done a video on uh, these two chainsaws versus each other. Um, it, you can go back to that video, I'll put a link uh, to that video here. In my last video, I, I ran my two chainsaws against each other. I ran them with the chains that came on them. So when I purchased my Husqvarna 550, it came with a X-cut chain, it came with a 50 gauge bar and chain. And when I purchased my still um, MS261, it came with a 0.63 gauge bar and chain. It also came with a green uh, chain. So I got a lot of comments and people were complaining that I wasn't being fair about that. Guys, I ran the chains that came on it. Um, I don't know how much more fair you can be. What I wanted to show was if a customer walks into a store and they pick up a chainsaw off the shelf, I wanted them to know what they could expect against a 550. I realize there's a lot of ways you can hop up and you can <laughs> run faster chains. There's full chisel chains. There's a lot of different things that you can do to speed up a chainsaw, including porting them and, and putting uh, you know muffler mods on them and all kinds of stuff. I'm not going into that. I just literally was running a stock chainsaw against a stock chainsaw the way that I purchased them. Um, and I was trying to be fair with that. Now, that being said, I'm gonna do another test today and this, this test is actually going to, I think in my opinion, give the still MS261 a better chance and a better uh, advantage, honestly. Um, and when I do that, you know, I'm sure there's gonna be people complaining about that on different sides. Guys, I'm testing this chain against another chain. This is not, in my opinion, this is not an exact even test. It's a full chisel against a semi chisel but I had people in the comments say, I can get a yellow chain on my uh, stock chainsaw. So I'm gonna run a steel yellow chain, which is a full chisel chain on the steel. And today I'm just running the same, but brand new um, X cut chain on the 550. So just so everybody is clear on the advantages, the steel has the full chisel chain so theoretically, there should be an advantage there. With that being said, it also has a 0.63 size gauge uh, bar and chain, which compared to the 550, the 550 has a 50 gauge. So that gives an advantage also to the Husqvarna. So this should actually bring us closer to uh, an even run. And a lot of people in the last video asked me, why don't you run the same bar and chain on each chainsaw? I would love to do that, guys. But for those of you that don't know a lot about the 550 and the still MS261, the bars do not uh, swap back and forth. Um, now, Husqvarna and still, there is a, an adapter that you can put on the 372 or even the 572, which makes it possible to run a steel bar on a Husqvarna chainsaw, but that's the bigger class. That's the 572 and the 372. On the Husqvarna 550 and the MS261, the only way that I've found that we can run these evenly against each other is to run the same gauge bar, the same chain, and just swap the chain back and forth. That should be an even test. I hope to be doing that in the future. With that being said, um, a lot of people that commented were from Europe and some other places around the world. Steel has made a 50 gauge bar. It's called an 04 light bar. That bar, from what I understand, is available in Europe. Um, I have not been able to get it. 
where I live. I live in uh, the Southern United States. Um, I've asked my dealer, I've asked another dealer if I can get it. They can't get it yet. So it's, it's similar to, you know, some of the other chainsaws that come out. They come out in Germany, they're out for a couple years, and then they become available in the United States. Um, so basically I plan on doing that in the future. That's not available to me now. However, I know people that may see this video, maybe in Europe or other places where you can actually get this uh, bar and chain. If you have a means of getting this bar and chain, if you want to send me that bar and chain to run against the 550, I'd be happy to do that. Right now, I have not been able to find it myself. With that being said, today we're running a, a still yellow chain against a Husqvarna X-Cut um, SP33G chain. My hope here is this gives another iteration and just a, another test uh, to kind of show the differences between these chains and, you know, offer a chain that you can get readily available. But yeah, enough explanation with that. I'm gonna run these two against each other. Let's see how these things do. Well, you guys, I just wrapped up uh, running these two saws against each other. I just checked the tape and unbelievably where the steel I think should have had the advantage, the Husqvarna beat it um, with the X-cut chain. I realize that the uh, X-cut chain is a 50 gauge, but still the steel chainsaw should have had the advantage with the full chisel chain. Um, that is, uh, I'm actually surprised <laughs> at that. But guys, I'm just trying to show y'all honest like feedback on, on these chains. So that's interesting to see. This X-Cut chain is pretty impressive. But guys, if you like videos like this, um, guys, my channel is about getting outdoors and working with tools and equipment. And that includes uh, working with firewood and chainsaws. Uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll see a lot more videos uh, where I put both of these chainsaws to work um, and go search down free firewood and do stuff like that. Um, I have several other videos where you can see these chainsaws at work. Um, go check those out. Uh, but until next time, you guys, get outside and do something you love. Thanks.